hi mamas hi mamas welcome back welcome back and if you're new welcome to my kind of vanessa so today i'm gonna be talking about my birthing experience what i expected versus what i experienced basically so hang around guys Yes, guys so today i'm gonna be talking about the expectations like what i expected when i was giving birth so you know how when you're growing up you're watching movies you all see people shouting other people going like it was you know how it is when you're watching movies so that's what i had expected i expected that you know when i go into labor my water is just gonna brag and i'm gonna just break my water then i start having contractions and then you know like i'll not basically remember what happened until i deliver and you know from people why people you might tell you like everyone has different birthing experience so people will tell you i ah, you know what i want to go through i don't even remember what really happened and some will tell you ah for me it was easy and stuff like that so i had a lot of um like there were a lot of things that people were telling me some were telling me that you might not rem even remember what you what like what you did some were say some were saying like you might even go like you're going crazy the pain is unbearable you can't even do anything even moving or sitting like it's really unbearable so um now as for my birthing experience what happened is um up until now like when i tell people some people don't even believe me so what happened is um the day before i gave birth i went for a checkup like my regular checkup and the doctor was telling me like everything is fine there's no problem you still have like uh the water levels are still okay so if you don't give birth in like a week or two weeks then you can come back for a checkup then we see if the water is still enough or we need to do an emergency section so I was like, oh, okay, fine, no problem. Then I went home. Um, so I was like chilled and everything. So I think my labor basically started probably during the um, the night, I think. Because like, um, I was, like, everything was, I was just having like some pains. I started feeling some pains, like period pain. And I was like, ah, it's okay, it's just, you know, it's just like some pains. It's nothing to feel like i went to the doctor yesterday and he told me like everything was fine so i can like ignored it in the morning in the morning i was like just ignoring it i went ah, maybe i just need to rest a bit so i was like i went into the blankets and i slept a bit i hadn't like eaten breakfast <laughs> or anything then like around 11 around 10 11, around 10 11 that's when i started getting like really sharp pains like I have a period pain like it was really really painful so i was like ah no this this is not normal i need to go like to the doctor so like i called uh some friends of mine to come pick me up at home and i went down the stairs on my own play a game i was just so like i only had like an apple like i was like um, let me just take something so i only had like one apple because i was anxious i didn't want to wait because i was feeling like i thought like something was really wrong so i i ate an apple then i went down so then we went to the hospital because where i was staying like it was really close to the hospital so i went to the hospital like i i didn't like i didn't have any clue like i wish someone would have told me the day before like whenever you're in it like when you never contraction start you don't need to go you need to go there like i wish they said they'll have that orientation maybe they do that like when you're going to a, to a private hospital but in a public hospital, they don't really, like, give you all the details, like, okay, when you start having contractions, you do this, you go this, you need to come with this, and this, and this. They don't give you that, basically, like, they just tell you, okay, everything is fine, you know, just, like, when you start going for those regular checkups. So, we went to the emergency um, department, and uh, I told them, like, ah, no, you know what, I'm not feeling well, like, I have some sharp pains on my belly like i'm not really sure going it feels like a period pain like, like they're sharp pains excuse me so like the the thing is when i went there that when we went there it was like during lunch so like all the people who speak like all the doctors or nurses who can speak english were like 
scarce so we had to like wait for like a few minutes for them to call the like the ladies who can speak english so they come they're like ah no if you're pregnant you can't be they said you have to go to the like uh second floor a uh, third floor you have to go like to the third floor to the gaina department that's where you go i was like ah, okay cool no problem so i started walking like they were like do you need the wheelchair i was like ah, no i'm fine i walk then i started walking towards going like from the emergency side going to the to the item to the guy in the department so i started walking and whenever i felt the pain i like stop a bit but it wasn't that bad honestly like for me it wasn't that bad so i started walking 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 then we took the elevator then we arrived so when i got there i was like ah i came yesterday coincidentally or likely my doctor the one that i had seen the day before was there I was like ah oh, you came back what's wrong because i know i've been having some sharp pains on my side i'm not sure what's going on i couldn't sleep like i can't sleep on my side i can't do anything i had to like kneel in order for me to you know to relieve the pains and i was like oh, okay cool no, no problem just lie on the bed and we'll check then they um, they gave me you know those uh like the machines they put on your belly i think to measure contractions or something like that and they're like ah oh, <laughs> your baby is coming did you bring anything i was like no i didn't bring anything so it's okay i'll go outside and i'll tell your your friends like what you need to to bring what they need to bring so they told them you don't need to go pack some bags you need to buy this and this and this this because remember like it was a it was a public hospital so you needed to buy like a bed cover to put under the sheets you needed to buy like pampas and um diapers other diapers after for after giving birth and stuff like that and remember all this was happening and i hadn't eaten anything yet so by the time the guys came back from my house to pick up the clothes and buying everything i was already i like already gave face to tandaza and i don't know like for me i feel like the pushing part it wasn't bad for me like yes there were some pains but it wasn't really bad for me i'm like it was because i went into the hospital around around 12 that's when they were like the baby is coming and around 12 30 i was done like i had already given birth to, to my baby girl and everything was like by the time they came back from the house like they were like oh, give us the clothes and everything we need to open the baby's here already even even like my sister and my mom were like what you guys just went to the hospital and already the baby like everyone was shocked and then after that like i was decided then i went to to the ward and i stayed there like in the hospital for like three days for like three days but i don't want to lie guys if you're close to giving birth you need to eat because i went into the hospital i didn't have like i didn't eat anything and by the time after i gave birth like i was so dizzy i was i think that moment after giving birth and walking to my room like most of it i don't remember and after that like i had to go pee pee i i don't i like i zoned out for a while while in the loo and i don't even know what happened there because <laughs> where i woke up and where my hand was guys <laughs> it was crazy and then after that uh went and i stayed in those people like three days and the doctor came for checkups and then the lactation specialist to come and check ah, is the milk coming out you need to feed the baby this way and this way and ah that was it basically my birthing experience guys was not it was for me honestly it was it was okay and i didn't really feel the pains and everything what i expected versus what i experienced was totally different and i don't know how was your birthing experience can you like share in the comment section like how was your birthing experience was it like what you expected or was it different and what like what did you pick in your hospital bag because for me basically guys i didn't pick anything because I, I thought like i had like a week or two weeks so i was like relaxing a bit so what did you guys like pick in your hospital bag and how was your experience and everything so that's it guys for me today that was like my bathing experience so don't forget to like share and subscribe and also share in the comments like how your bathing experience was and how it went all right guys thank you see you on my next video bye